Thank you, JB. Now to Nikki D. This is a very special day for someone here in the Mid-State. You have got it right, Amy. Uh -huh. And his special wife sent a photo in to us. We want to wish Greg Clark a very happy retirement. His uh -huh. final day heading to work today. Uh -huh. And they sent a weather picture to coordinate. Oh, they did? Awesome. And I look forward to seeing more of their pictures, Amy, because the game plan is to go visit all the national parks they can go see. Oh, so, Miss Kathy, gosh. I'll be looking for some more pictures pretty soon. And we're seeing a lot of photos yeah. coming in from other people with lightning. Uh, you're not kidding. Oh, it was so crazy overnight in some places. It was so yeah. loud. And we oh. had a ton of rain as well in a handful of spots. And some of you didn't see a drop. Here's that photo I do want to give. A big Big shout out to Greg. We are so excited for you on your retirement. Beautiful rainbow. And we're going to have a chance to see more of those later on today because more rain is heading in. Here's a live look for you over in Murfreesboro. Almost received one inch of rain since midnight. And you can tell the roadways, they've got that sheen. They're quite shiny and they're slick in a handful of spots. So be careful heading out over in Franklin. You saw upwards of an inch and a half of rain. The city coming in right around a half an inch as well. Sunrise is going to take place at 553. We'll have sunset this evening at 752. Those days keep getting shorter right now on the satellite and radar. You'll notice still pretty active out there, but things are toning down just a bit, but it's not going to be for long because just off to our west, there's still another band of rain that's going to move its way in and it's electric as well. Right now we're picking up just a few light sprinkles taking place just to the east of South Hill, and those are going to continue to fizzle out just a bit. This cell right here had a significant weather advisory on it several times this morning with winds gusting over 40 miles per hour and intense rain. Now, thankfully, it is beginning to weaken, but still bringing a punch when it comes to rainfall accumulations. Seeing some heavy rain right now pushing over into Livingston. That's going to continue to move its way over into Jamestown. So you've got some rain right now, but Jamestown, you're about to see that heavier band moving through. Also seeing this cell exit over into Crossville. So there's a quick look at what we are seeing, and we're going to continue to track that rain throughout the day. Temperatures right now are in the low 70s. Like yesterday, we've got that threat for strong to severe storms to take place. We're at a one out of five, so on the lower end, but looking to see potential significant weather advisories being pushed in because of the gusty winds and a lot of lightning associated with these cells. We've got a ton of rain, so we will be dealing with some heavy downpours, and that's on top of what we already have received. So if your ground is already saturated and as we go throughout the afternoon, you'll see more of that rain moving in. Please watch out for the lower lying areas. And of course, the rivers, the creeks, they are going to continue to swell. We'll see another round of rain coming in as we head throughout our Saturday as well. Not a complete washout but like yesterday, but we will see heavy amounts beginning to push through. 89 degrees today. Tomorrow we'll be at 86. And then you'll notice a decrease in the way of our precipitation as we go and start next week. Sunday, 87 for your high. Still going to feel like those 90s. And we'll have a drier pattern in place as we go throughout the beginning of our work week. And then as we head throughout mid work week, some isolated showers in the afternoon. Amy? A story of love that spanned across.